Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Daniel, and I'm your table, table topic evaluator for the night. Certainly, we heard some very good stories from the participants who came out here voluntarily or forcefully. <laughs> but it was certainly a major breakthrough for most of them. I always like table topic session because it's an opportunity for us to improve our impromptu speaking skills which is very essential in our daily life. You never know when you're going to be surprised by crazy questions. Below are my report for the night. First up, we have Damien, who was, he was asked if you can be at any age, what age and why. He brought us back to his days when he was a steward in Mars Airline, about the, the, the travel that he'd been through and the girls. <laughs> Damien, you're a very good confident speaker, which I'm sure you have, a, I think being a, your time in Mars Airline helps train you to be a decent speaker. Very good, strong posture, loud and audible voice. There's a point of improvement. When you speak, you start looking at the ground. So in that way, it kind of shows that, it has a show is that, uh, you're not that confident. I mean, it's, it's just a habit that you probably have when you're speaking. But if you can just look at others, I think you do very well. Let's give a big round of applause to him. <laughs> Second up, we have Chiyong, who was asked, if you're not doing what you're doing today, what will you be doing? He brought us to his, uh, he explained what he's doing currently, which is a financial planner. And if it's not doing, being a financial planner, he'll be a, a world-class DJ and kicking time off the throne. Very good posture, very good body language. As always, he's a, one of the funny guys in, uh, in our club. Just a point of improvement. You did a very good job of looking at the crowd, but I felt like it was a bit too fast. So you're going zooming back and forth, left and right. And that would, uh, if you could look at someone a bit longer, it gives that personal connection. It brings a connect personal connection between you and the audience better. Let's give it, give him a big round of applause. <laughs> then we have Sky. Sky was asked, "Do you like new or old things?" And he explained how he applies differently to different things in his life. Very good. Again, very good, confident speaker. I especially, especially like your vocal variety. When he talked about his new stuff in life, <clears throat> he was going very fast. But when he came back to his the old stuff, which is his wife, he old took stuff. yes old stuff. <laughs> I don't know if he has a new wife, but his old wife. <laughs> and uh, he took it very slowly. He brought the tone down and took the pace slower. I definitely felt a personal connection to your story there. Just a point of improvement. When you are at the beginning of your speech, you post two questions to comment very quickly, which I felt if you want to really post a question, be impactful. If not, you can just go on without asking because that would sometimes distract you or delay, delay your speech. Let's give you a big round of applause. <laughs> Next, we have Puilai, was given an easy question by your classmate. If you have a, pit, a new hobby, what would, it, uh, what would it be? And she explained her love for value, aka money. It's good to, for a starter, it's good to, or even the, a good kid, it's good to repeat the question when you are given a question, when you are taken by surprise, because that would give you ample time to, to think about what you're going to say. And she was very calm and collected as well. Just a note, open up your, your hand gesture because you were very close and you were kind of standing in one place. So just kind of open up and just be more open so that we, all the audience feel more welcome with your stories. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Last but not least, Faruqi. He was being asked his first day at work and he talked about his, his stint at the uh, first job in Bangladesh. 
Very good body language, always a good speaker, very confident. It's very good. Um, he took, he was looking at the crowd pretty well, but I felt like, just a point, when you reminisce of the old time, it's good to look back, but make sure you bring yourself back, because you were kind of looking at, at the top, and we kind of look, kind of lost you there. So you just kind of bring yourself back and talk to the audience. And that's all for me tonight. Thank you, Daniel. Now, being the table topics evaluator is one of the one of the more difficult things to do because you have to evaluate, in this case, five speakers within a short span of time. You've got something like five minutes to evaluate five speakers, and in that five or six minutes or seven minutes, you will have to give them what they did well, encourage them, and tell them, okay, areas for improvement, and, and also give them examples of areas for improvement. And so, I thought Daniel, you did so well in all these areas. Also, you have a very clear voice, which, and you spoke very slowly, so people get, you're very audible and very clear, and people really got your message. So very well done, Daniel. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> now, I'd also like to commend the Table Topics Master, Table Topics Master was Ng Chu Yin, right? Ng Chu Yin, uh, your Table Topics I thought was not too long and not too short. It was very interesting. So it was nice enough for the people, whoever you, your, whoever was wanted to do the Table Topics. It was not too narrow that they don't know what to speak about and not too wide that they've got so many things they don't know where to start. So I, I thought your topics were very well chosen, very well done. So I think you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Well done. Now, if the only thing I felt was for the first speaker, please don't get a guest. Now, why you don't get a guest? Because they really don't know where to start. How they, how is table topics? What is table topics all about? Even though you tell them what it is, they don't know where they should stand. How, where, at what point they should start talking? So please, I think the best thing to do is get an experienced person to speak first, or one of your members, so they have an idea what table topics is. The first topic, and then you get the guest. That's all with table topics. Let's move on to our first evaluator, speech evaluator, who is who's going to evaluate.